Well, hey there guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Christina Brooke and this is my Glam Ranch. I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and also you can hit the notification bell and that means that you guys can be early birds on the Glam Ranch and see all the videos right when I'm posting them. So what I'm gonna be talking to you guys today about is Flawless Fusion Concealer from Laura Mercier. This is her new concealer. So this video is going to be a review and a wear test. So guys, before we get into this entire video, I wanna let you guys know that there is a giveaway going on right now. I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip of all of the products that you guys can win in this giveaway. So you guys are going to be able to win a bunch of really cool products. This giveaway is going to be going on for like at least three weeks. There's going to be information in the description box on how you guys can enter into this giveaway. You have to watch the entry video. So yeah, definitely you guys want to enter in the giveaway, but hey, the most important thing is you have to be subscribed to this channel in order to win. So yeah, start subscribing now and let's just get right into this video. Okay guys, so first things first. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I applied the concealer this afternoon so you guys can see it in action being applied. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer so you guys can see how it applies um, on camera. So you guys can see um, this is gonna be my makeup for today. So I will be applying it. I just usually apply it like this. Like if I'm gonna just apply a concealer, I usually go like that and I apply it like how I want it to look. Sometimes I put less lines, sometimes I put more lines and then anywhere that I have like a little area that I wanna cover. And then of course, I always put a little bit of my forehead just to kind of like do a highlight and then down the center of my nose to do a little highlight and like right here and that's it. And I don't always even do that part. So I use this little tiny um, Real Technique sponge that I love for concealer. This is like the best sponge because it's so tiny and I also use this to bake and put the powder under my eyes. I love it because I can like really get in there and it's not like a huge sponge. So if you guys can see, it does blend out pretty nicely, very seamlessly, very easy. And it is very full coverage. You guys see how full coverage like it is? Cause like you can totally, totally see how it has covered up a lot of my dark circles already. And it also has like brightened up my eyes very quickly. I feel like it's very quickly does that. It has a very pretty finish. Bring that on my chin. There I have it. Now I usually like to go in a little bit more in the corners because I do get dark right here in these corners and sometimes a little bit by my nose because my nose sometimes gets a little red and today's like one of those days that I have like red nose. I don't know. <laughs> Does that happen to anybody else or is it just me? So I'm just gonna smush this in right here because I don't want it to move around. I just wanna kind of get more coverage right in the inner corners because I get dark right there. Does anybody else get dark like right here? I don't know why. I just have like a lot of veins in my eyes. And there we go. That's what it looks like applied. So now let me go ahead and set. Most concealers you need to set. Like honestly, you can't not set any concealer. So I'm just gonna use the Cody Airspun to set this. Put this to kind of like set everything in place. I always do this so this is not something different. Sometimes I use this powder. Sometimes I use the Cover FX powder. So it just depends on what I have available. And right now this is like right in front of me. So while I put on my bronzer, I'll let that set. And then once the bronzer is on, I'll wipe it away and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's just wipe away the powder now that I've finished my bronzer. I tend to always do this just to let it sit for a little bit. I put my bronzer on and then I take it off. And if I need to add a little bit more bronzer around my eyes, I usually do that. But usually I like my eyes to look a little bright. So it's usually pretty good. That is what we're looking like. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see my under eyes. This is what it looks like right when it's finished. And guys, it looks really pretty. Like. It's not really creasy. Like you see, it gets a little bit into my lines, but really, I don't think there's any concealer that just like doesn't even get in your lines. If you have lines, things are gonna kind of like get in there. There's a difference between it getting a little bit in your lines and it looking like a creasy mess and it like makes you look like you have more lines than you actually do. So like right now, this does not make me look like it has more lines. It makes me look kind of like how I look and it looks pretty nice. It covers up the dark circles pretty good. And the thing I love about it is it feels hydrated. It feels hydrated and it looks very hydrated. So that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup. And then 
we will go ahead and get into a quick little review and then I'll show you guys also my wear test of me using this the entire day. Okay, so now that you guys have seen how I applied it this morning, I want you guys to see how it wore throughout the day. I went ahead and I wore this concealer from the morning until like really late at night yesterday on purpose so that I can film it throughout the entire day so you guys can see a wear test. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that video of the wear test so you guys can actually see it in action before I give you guys my thoughts on this concealer. All right, I just put on the Laura Mercier Flawless Concealer. It is nine in the morning and I will be wearing it the whole day and I'll give you guys some updates. I'll check in with you guys later on. And this is where I put those pictures up on Instagram. You guys can see, you guys will probably see this picture up. This is how the concealer looks right now. I'm in the car. I think I like it. It is 4.36 and this is what it looks like. For being on since 9.30 a.m. and it's like 4.30 and it looks like this. So far so good, but let's keep wearing it. 6.30, as you guys can see, I've had this concealer on since 9.30 in the morning and we've got Emmy going crazy. It's really, really good. So far, so good. I'm still gonna wear this for longer, so we'll keep on, but it looks pretty good. All right, guys, this is the last check-in of the night right now. So it's 8.33 p.m. and it's basically almost 12 hours. So I have been wearing this for the amount of time that they say that this concealer can last for. And I have to say that by this time, I don't think the concealer is holding up as much anymore. If you like zoom in, you can kind of see certain areas of my face that the concealer is starting to break up and it's kind of like separating a little bit from my under eyes. Um, it's not like, it's pretty noticeable at this point, but before then it was not that noticeable and it has been very full coverage. It's still covering my under eyes pretty good. If you guys can see how it's breaking up around here. Obviously guys, this is like 12 hours, so this is its max. So I don't expect it to be like amazing at this moment, but definitely at 12 hours, it starts to break up. So I think it's more like a nine hour concealer. So definitely, so far, it just looks to me like at at a certain point, maybe around 6.30 was probably the max that it was looking good. And then after that, little by little, it started to get a little bit more separated and a little bit more crusty looking. And I think it's more like it looks cakey now. This is definitely a good concealer, but it's just not a 12 hour concealer, but it definitely is a good concealer because it looked beautiful while I had it on before now. So yeah, just so you guys know, 12 hours, not so much. So good night. I'm going to sleep. I'm taking off this makeup. I'm going to bed. I'm not going to bed. I'm probably going to watch some TV. And yeah. So you guys saw the wear test and the results. And what I have to tell you guys is I actually do enjoy this concealer a lot. And I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why I think it's really good. One of the first things that I love about this concealer is it's very full coverage. Like I'm talking about Tarte Shape Tape type of full coverage. I think the Tarte Shape Tape might be even a little bit more full coverage than this one. And that is because Tarte Shape Tape has like this very heavy consistency. This one is not as heavy looking when you put it on. It kind of does kind of like melt away, but, and it does look very hydrated, which I love. Now the coverage is very, very good. So when I say it's not as much as the Tarte Shape Tape, I don't mean at all that it is not high coverage. It is very high coverage. So I might actually even prefer this one over the Shape Tape only because the Shape Tape sometimes get dr gets dry underneath my eyes and this guy does not look dry under my eyes. Now, if you guys are looking for a concealer that is going to be very natural looking, but it's gonna cover your dark circles, I think this one is a little bit more on the heavy side. Like it is not a very natural looking concealer. Like when you put it on, it does look brightened, it does look concealed, and I do feel like through the day, you do, it's like one of those concealers that does look like a concealer. You know what I'm saying? Like if you use the Maybelline Age Rewind, I feel like that concealer kind of like just disappears and you kind of like can't tell you have concealer on. This is more of a dramatic type of concealer that really conceals. It's lightweight because it doesn't feel like, like right now I don't feel like I have a heavy concealer on. Like it doesn't feel that way, but it is a thicker concealer, so it is a 
concealer. Like it's not one of those that I would say, hey, it doesn't feel like you have makeup on. You know what I mean? So it's so funny. I <laughs> I put on this lipstick and I had like this really bright shirt on and I really don't like the way these two colors look together. But my daughter is asleep and I don't have that much time. So I am not going to change my shirt. So yeah, we match very, very well today, but that was not, that was not like the goal. But anyways, back to the concealer. So I really, really honestly think that it's a good concealer. Now I'm going to tell you a few things that I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all mixed with the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. I don't know what it is about the foundation and this concealer mix. They don't look good together. They looked, my concealer just looked very dry and cakey and it didn't look good throughout the entire day. I didn't like the way it wore with that foundation. Now all the rest of the foundations I've used with it, I have liked the way that it works. Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation is a little bit of a strange foundation so I don't think everything works good with it so I can't really judge this Laura Mercier concealer based off of that. And God, I keep looking in the monitor and my shirt is so bright and my lips are so bright. I did wear this with a few different foundations just recently. I wore it with my Dior Skin Forever and I love the way it worked with the Dior Skin Forever. I also love the way it worked with my YSL um, All Hours Foundation. I do think that this concealer does work with a bunch of different foundations. I just think that the Shameless Foundation is a hard foundation. So let's just forget that it didn't work with the Shameless Foundation because I just, I can't, you know, and I can't judge it based off of that. But I will tell you that I really love the way that the finish looks. I think that the fit final product, like the way it looks on your eyes, it looks so beautiful for a lot of hours. Like it just, like honestly guys, like it just looks really pretty for a lot of hours. It really covers really well. It brightens really well. Now the only thing is like I said before, this is gonna be a concealer that looks like you're wearing concealer. This is not a invisible, oh my God, does she have makeup on type of concealer. This is definitely a more thicker type of looking concealer, even though it does feel really lightweight on my skin. Like it feels like I'm not wearing concealer right now at all, which sometimes to me doesn't always happen. Sometimes like even with the Tarte Shape Tape, I kind of feel it like feeling like, kind of feel like drying on my eyes even though it looks really really covered sometimes it looks a little dry and cakey this one doesn't do that now the only thing that I will tell you though is I wore it yesterday and I'll tell you in the beginning like you saw in my um, wear test it always looks so beautiful in the beginning and I think it lasts really well the six hour mark I think that's when it starts to kind of like go downhill um, and it starts to kind of like break up a little bit and the coverage stays there, but it just kind of starts to break up. Now I have had concealers do this with me in the past before that they start breaking up like right around here. And I think that's because this area is the only, one of the only areas that I get very oily is around this area. So I think that's why the concealer starts to break up after wearing it for a really long time. Now I didn't like touch up or anything yesterday cause I wanted to see how well it wore. Okay, so some of the claims that it says is it says that it's a medium to full coverage. I totally agree with that. It is is definitely a medium to full coverage. You can definitely build it up to be very full coverage, which I did today. And I feel like it really, really did do a great job. It hydrates and blurs. And I do think that it feels like it's hydrated. When you look under the eyes, it doesn't really look too cakey. It doesn't look like too crusty. It does look pretty hydrated. Now it says it's 12 hours crease resistant wear. That one is not hundred percent true on me at least. So I really feel like it's max good looking time. The ninth hour, I was already starting to see it look a little broken up and it just didn't look as beautiful as it did in the beginning. So if you're looking for like a real, real long wearing concealer that you think, then you have a little bit of oily skin, especially around your cheek area. So this will break up on you. It doesn't bother me that much because 12 hour wear is like 12 hours is a really, really long time to be like somewhere that you want people to see like your concealer, you know? So it does a, it does a very beautiful job. I think for an eight hour work day, I think by the end of the day, you're probably going to start seeing it break up a little. So it only has 12 shades. So it doesn't have a huge shade range. That's not the best for this concealer. Overall, what I have to say about this concealer is for me personally, I like this concealer to go out. I like it to like really put on when I really want maximum coverage. Like if I'm going to a dinner date, if I'm going to an event or I want my eyes to look amazing and definitely creaseless because it does not crease. It looks really beautiful and it stays boom, like that. So I'm kind of like on the fence. I really, really like this concealer because I really love the way it looks hydrated and I love the full coverageness of it. And I love it for certain events and I love it for certain days. Now for me to say like, this is gonna be my go-to concealer for every single day, I don't think it can be because I can't wear it for like 
over eight hours without it looking a little bad on me. So that for just that reason, I'm probably gonna say that I can't use this like as an everyday concealer. I'm gonna keep on wearing it and trying it with different foundations, but I've already been wearing this for five days straight. I've tried it different times. I've worn it every single day. I've worn it like six hours, I've worn it five hours, I've worn it 12 hours, I've worn it 11 hours. So like I've worn it a lot of hours so I kinda know how it wears on my skin. So that's the only thing that I don't love about it because I can't use it like an everyday concealer. Sometimes the concealers that are very heavy, like this one has more of a heavier you know, look to it, I don't really like to wear those every single day because I feel like they are a little bit too much and it's not something I would wear every day. So it's more something that I would be saving for nights out, for maybe a day that I really want maximum coverage. This would definitely be the concealer that I would go for. So definitely I do think it's a good concealer. I like it, I really do like it. And I'm starting to think that I really wanna test it up against the Tarte Shape Tape because I feel like the Shape Tape does the same thing to me. So I would wanna see how they both look because I think that Shape Tape does get me a little bit drier looking under my eyes and they don't look as beautiful. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. I do think it's a very good concealer. Do I think that everybody needs to go out and run and buy it because it's like the next amazing concealer in the entire world? No, I don't because it does not last the entire day, at least not on me. If you have oily skin, you probably will see the same thing. But I do think it's a very good concealer for especially if you were looking for something that's gonna last you around six to seven hours, this guy will be great. Probably even at the ninth hour, you'll probably be still okay, but after that, everything goes downhill. This concealer is also around $28, so it's a kind of expensive concealer if you really think about it, but it does do a really good job covering dark circles. I'm telling you guys, it looks beautiful. It, it, it really does look beautiful, especially for the first few hours. It looks gorgeous, you know? It's just if you wanna wear it for a really long time. I don't know if this guy's gonna work that well for you. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave me your comments below. Did you guys pick up this concealer? What are you guys thinking? Have you guys worn it for 12 hours or more? And yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.